Howdy y'all! Welcome back to MC Shaving. We're going to do a Texas shave for you today. That's right, we're moving on with our Shave America series. You heard the state song, Texas, Our Texas, in the opening of the video. Now in case you didn't know this, Texas was an independent nation from 1836 to 1845, before it became the 28th state of the U.S. Now Texas got its nickname, the Lone Star State, from its state flag. As Americans, we respect and treat our country flag by not letting it touch the ground, lighting it up at night, and making sure the red, white, and blue flies high and proud. But Texas has similar, and in some cases, more rigid code for properly displaying and caring for its state flag. As an example, however the road goes, whether it's north or south or east or west, there are different provisions for flying the state flag. Now that's some serious code. Now, no matter where you look in Texas, it's true, everything's bigger. In fact, the state capitol is taller than the U.S. capitol by 15 feet. If you're familiar with the Katy Freeway at Beltway 8, that is the world's largest freeway at 26 lanes across. And to put it in perspective, the size of Texas is larger than any country in Western Europe. Now, three of America's largest cities are in Texas, Houston, is ranked number four, San Antonio is ranked number seven, and Dallas is ranked number nine. In fact, in 2005, a town of Clark formally renamed itself to Dish, Texas. So if you'd like to cut the cord and get rid of cable, you can always go to Dish, Texas, because there's a deal there that every resident gets to receive free basic television and DVR services from Dish Network. <laughs> Not a bad deal. Now let's talk about the scents for the state of Texas. We have pine, lime, leather, and cyclamen. Now today's shave, we're gonna go with leather. It's suiting because there's a lot of cattle that are in Texas, and I have a perfect soap that I got to do. Now yes, I'm wearing my hat, and it shouldn't get into the way of the shape. I got my denim on. I don't have any shit kickers, but I am wearing jeans. So today's shave is going to be from Wickham, and this is going to be Russian leather. I'll bring that close. Wickham soaps, Russian leather. And we have that all prepped in the Savannah scuttle. There it is in the bottom with a little water soaking to get hydrated. We have a nice warm shave today, and we are going to use for the razor the Q-shave. And we're going to take this on setting three and a half to start the shave. There we go. Inside, we're going to use a big blend, a big bend blade on the back. There we go. This is going to be the fourth use. We're going to use some mentholated parasso as a pre-shave. We've got a few days growth. So I'm just going to wet the face with some water. I'm going to put a little pre-shave on. Mmm, you can definitely smell that menthol. Prasso has got a good product. Now, some people don't like menthol. They do have non-mentholated pre-shave. So I got one to note right there. I got a few bumps, so before I even start shaving. I happen to nick myself there. It's my fault, not the razor. All right, tidy that up. Woo, man, bringing some tears to the eyes. That's got some metal in it. All right. Uh, for the post shave, we're going to use some Taconic, and this is going to be aftershave balm. And this is moisturizing and soothing, but it also has menthol in it. And for the cologne today, we're going to use some English leather musk. So I figured 
the leather goes with the leather so that'll be awesome we'll see how we're doing maybe we'll put some witch hazel on and last but not least we have soaking off camera here is our Omega bore synthetic brush I'll leave the number of the brush in the comments underneath I don't remember I'm just gonna shake it out and we're gonna get to whipping up the soap I've been watching a lot of videos looks like everyone's staying entertained those of us in the shaving community are creating more and more shave videos not only to keep ourselves from going mad but to give everybody else something to watch I want to thank all my new subscribers to the channel appreciate you signing up bunch of good guys over at uh, rich man shaving Facebook group if you guys caught my silent shave that was uh, a live that I did for the group itself and then I reposted it on YouTube of course with a little bit of editing uh, can't do uh, black and white on the live video or have the music in the background but uh, it was a lot of fun doing that shave and I got a lot of good comments so thanks everybody who commented on that video it could be tough to watch because there's actually no talking unless you like some of those uh, old style songs and uh, I tried to keep it a little bit interesting a little bit funny so I'm glad I was able to put a smile on some of you guys faces or ladies if you're out there and I know you are she shaves with Jill and Maya's magic if you haven't checked them out make sure that you go visit their channels and I think uh, it's very admirable a lot of channels are uh, recognizing each other and spreading the word we're one big group it's a uh, it's a great community of folks so uh, why not share the love there's enough to go around and we're supporting ourselves and the more support we get maybe we can recruit some new folks into the wet shaving community so I hope everybody is doing well and staying uh, free of symptoms and hopefully it's not too bad where you are this is whipping up real nice got some good peaks I'm just gonna add a little bit of water here in the bottom I would use my sprayer but I'm just going to go with a dribble from the sink a little bit. I love mixing lather. There's just something about making lather that is just so relaxing and calming. And I mean, you could really smell the leather smell. Mm. It's definitely, definitely coming out. And uh, having this uh, scuttle full with warm water, it's going to be a nice warm shave. All right, here we go. There's some nice peaks. I think we did real good. We got a whole scuttle full of soap. So let's get to lathering here. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Now I was soaking this, this brush. It is uh, synthetic, so it doesn't really need to get soaked. But if you guys haven't seen uh, Doug and Fran from PAA had to cancel they're Big Shave Southwest and usually uh, when you reserve a spot you get a, uh, a, a soap and an aftershave and a grab bag that has a whole bunch of goodies in it but because they canceled this year's event due to the COVID Doug opened it up for anybody to get the Big Shave Southwest soap scent which sounds like it's a really good one yes I did place an order so hopefully that'll be in soon we'll do a shave with that now I'm gonna get my sprayer concentrated doesn't go all over the place just mix it up a little bit a little pasty Trying not to splay these bristles too much. Just do a little painting work here. That'll be nice. <laughs> it's Santa Cowboy. Mmm, <laughs> I could really feel that menthol from the Prorasso. 
it's like this soap is creating a, uh, a pocket over top of it and it's not letting it go anywhere so it's staying right in place beautiful all right put the brush back in the scuttle let that get nice and warm for the next pass and we're just going to wet the Q shave double check we have setting three and a half with a big Ben let's go Got a few days growth. I started to itch. Really needed to get this shave in. My wife absolutely hates me in this hat. I like it. It's comfortable. Now, I'm not one to listen to much country music, but I do have a vast collection of it because if you don't know I am an entertainer I do have a sound system for any occasion birthdays unions anniversaries let me tell you something when this COVID thing is over and it's looking like it's going to go through April. New York's mayor is talking about the apex uh, going uh, right around Easter. So depending on how things go over the next several weeks. Oh, got to be careful. I think I scratched it open. This ain't too bad. I should have went up to a four. Doesn't feel too bad. But depending on how things go, I think it's going to be late in April, early May, before we start to see things get back to normal. Hopefully, anyway. So, pretty close to uh, summertime. I think I'm going to get the old sound system out, set it up in my driveway. We're just going to have a big old party. So if you're anywhere near western New York, come on down. The beer is going to be cold, and the music will be plenty, and there'll be a lot of people from the community. We do have block parties and stuff, so very nice community where I am. Just hit me up. On Twitter or Facebook we'll get something together break in summer proper yeah very nice you know that wasn't too bad I think uh, I think what I'm gonna do for pass two I'm gonna just take it down a half step we're gonna go down to three because that was a that was pretty mild so all right Let's get some more soap on the face. Ooh, nice and warm. Yeah, smell that leather. Oh, It's like someone slapped me in the face with a warm cowhide. Yeah. Mm. You know, this has got to be right up there. A lot of people say that they like the smell of cigars or pipe tobacco. They may not smoke it, but it's just something about the aroma. And uh, if you have a good leather soap, or I should say, if you ever smell leather, it's also one of those attractive scents. You may not like it, you may not wear it, you may not have any, but it's a distinct smell. Mmm. Definitely, definitely nice soap. So glad that I got a whole bunch of these samples to try. I tried to get the big tubs, but it's just not cost effective. Especially with my situation. Did have good, uh, good luck this week though, so even though during these troubled times, we'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky. If you're praying for me, thank you. Keep on praying. <laughs> All right, let's give you some more facts about Tennessee. 
If you are a hunter, great. If not, no problem. But it's completely legal to shoot Bigfoot if you see him or her in Texas. In 1942, the BBC banned the song Deep in the Heart of Texas. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Let's have a listen. The stars at night are big and bright Deep in the heart of Texas Now as the clapping portion of the song was seen to be a hazard around heavy machinery, they banned it. So, can't play that song because it's true. People will stop and clap. <laughs> During the year 1900, a Category 4 hurricane struck the shoreline of Galveston, Texas and became the deadliest natural disaster in American history. 8,000 people perished with over 20 million in property damage. Now that was back in the day. So that equates to somewhere around $700 million in today's market. More tornadoes have been recorded in Texas than any other state in America. So here's some pictures from that devastating natural disaster. Man, that was something, I tell you. But the oldest law enforcement agency in North America is the Texas Rangers. Now, speaking of the law, Texas police are less likely to give you a speeding ticket while traveling the highway because Texas has the highest speed limit in the country at 85 miles per hour. So that's pretty cool. It's not the Autobahn but you can get going a little bit on their highway system. <laughs> I know a couple people that live out in Texas, uh, so if you're from Texas, let me know. In fact, Sinatra Lennon, if you're watching this video, let us know how it is down there with the driving. Okay, setting three, pass two. I could definitely smell that leather. Oh man. I took it a step down, half a step down. And this is so smooth. Now, the Q-Shave... Sorry about that. We're right on top of the garage and it sounds like someone's going in and out of the car. But the Q-Shave is just like the Mercure Future with the big head. So, a lot of people have difficulty getting under the schnoz. Now I have a pretty good beak myself, but I don't have a problem, per se, getting under the nose. Oh, rinse that off. Here we are. Wow, that's not bad at all. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, we're going to step this down to two and a half. We're going to do a half step. I'm just going to do a rinse. Be right back. All right, we're back. The, uh, the missus came upstairs and she needed my attention for something, so sorry about having to pause the video, but I just did some uh, quick rinse of the face. I had a lot of dirt and hair in the in the sink, so I wanted to clean that up too. Alright, let us 
do pass three. This should be all we need to have an excellent Texas shape. really smell that leather. I wonder if it's this, the, uh, the warmth that's really bringing that uh, leather smell out, but man, it's got pretty good scent strength. And that's what I like. I don't like it overpowering, works with you for a whole weekend, but uh, I do like to smell it. Leather smell. All right. Let's finish up our thoughts for Texas. As we clear the nostrils. Oh, well, look at that. What do you know? Okay. I got to get my uh, Texas notes back. There we go. All right. So there are approximately 11.7 million cattle and calves currently living in Texas. Now, if you like exotic cuisine, Amarillo hosts the world's largest calf fry cook-off. But be forewarned, those are bull testicles. Texas is the birthplace of Six Flags amusement parks. The park first opened in Arlington during 1961. The logo and Six Flags name came from the six flags that have flown in ownership over Texas. That includes the United States, the Republic of Texas, the Confederacy, France, Spain, and Mexico. Here is a pic of the logo and the Six Flags. Speaking of Mexico, the Battle of the Alamo took place during 1836, when Texas was fighting for independence from Mexico. The fighting lasted 13 days. The Alamo is a former mission located near the present-day city of San Antonio. Originally occupied by a group of Texan volunteer soldiers, a Mexican force, numbering in the thousands, began a siege of the fort. Vastly outnumbered, the Alamo's 200 defenders which included the famed frontiersman Davy Crockett, held out for 13 days before the Mexican forces finally overpowered them. Now for Texans, the Battle of the Alamo became an enduring symbol of their heroic resistance to oppression and their struggle for independence, which they won later that year. The battle cry of, Remember the Alamo! became popular during the Mexican-American War between 1846 and 1848. Here's a picture of the Alamo. Now a lot of Texans down there say that it's uh, just, just this little thing and you, you know you blink and you miss it. I've never been to the Alamo. The picture looks like you're not gonna miss it but perhaps maybe in the grand scale of everything being bigger in Texas it's not quite that big. I, I, I don't know. If you live in Texas or you've been there on vacation, please leave a comment below for our viewers. All right, let's do the third pass. I think this will be the pickup pass and we'll call this a successful Texas shave. I did a half step. I still hear it, but it certainly doesn't feel like there's uh, anything there. Very smooth. Very nice. I tell you, my skin hasn't felt this good in a while. Some of those razor blades that I've been using are okay. The Big Ben's coming around. When I first used it, it reminded me of the ostrich green. But I think now that I've used it a few times, it's tame. 
not bad. It's not pulling or tugging or anything. It just it feels pleasant right now. Could have just been uh, its sharpness out of the gate. Maybe it was a bad blade. I do like those ASCOs. That silver star, that was okay. I wasn't a fan. But they're all right. Like I said, I'm going to give it its use. It may calm down. Here we go under the schnoz. Oh, I can feel it tugging on those. Uh... Yep, I got it. You can see it. It just opened up that one pimple I had. Last pass, had to take it out. Darn, darn, darn. That's all right. Nope, a little bit more of a pickup right there. That side's okay. Let's see if we can. Uh, that's just going to keep going, isn't it? Yep. Pretty good. All right. Let's get a cold rinse in here. That's gonna probably go for a little bit there. Let me uh, step over here and get my septic pencil. We'll just uh, wet that down a little bit. That took care of it. Those septic pencils, they work good. Very nice, very nice. And I was able to do the whole shave wearing the hat. Not bad. Texans, they don't take their hats or boots off for nothing. Authentic Texas shave. All right. Taconic aftershave balm. Whoa! It's got some pressure behind that pump. Hmm. Yeah. A little bit more menthol. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, let's gonna use the cologne, a little bit of English leather musk. Mm. You know, for a cologne with alcohol, no burn. I gotta tell you, this has been a good shave. It's been a few shaves now. Even though I had, uh, you know, these little pimples here and I got nicked, it didn't burn. And my skin feels great. So those products really work well, and I enjoyed this shave. Well, listen, I want to thank all of the new subscribers again for coming to my channel, leaving some comments. Very appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber, please come one. Now, if you would like to stay a little bit longer after this video, 
I was able to find a short seven minute cartoon which goes over all the different parts about Texas. And it's a pretty neat cartoon. So you can stay and have a watch. And if you're short on time, come back and watch it later. And if it's not for you, well then this is the end of the shave. So thanks everybody for joining me today. And I hope to see you on the next shave when we do our next Shave America State. Take care, God bless, stay safe, and we'll speak to you soon. Start the day with a song and sing the whole day through. Even while you're busy working, do just like the birdies do. Though the day may be long, you never will go wrong. Or keep on, keep any okay, just start the day with a song. Howdy, folks. I'm fixing to tell y'all about Texas, nicknamed the Lone Star State. Texas comprises one-twelfth of the area of this year country, but to us Texans, she looks like this. The early settlers was mighty anxious to get to this year wonderful state. They only stopped for chow. Way back in them days, the six-shooter was the only law. But then came the Texas Rangers, who established peace and order. Them there Rangers is really fast on the draw. Us folks hereabouts are right proud of our boots and the ten-gallon hats. All over Texas, the Jeep is replacing the horse at the old hitching post. The vast prairies down this way is home to thousands of acres of tumbleweeds. Texas leads the country in producing hogs, goats, and the famous longhorn steer. You can't pull the wool over a Texan's eyes, <laughs> cause Texas leads in sheep raising. I'm Lil Bo Peep, I've lost my sheep, and I don't know where to find them. <laughs> oh, there's one of the cute little old darlings now. <laughs> The soil here is so rich, our grapefruits grow to a tremendous size. Just two of them makes a dozen. Besides things growing big here, <laughs> they sure grow fast. As for mineral production, Texas ranks first shown up because every year her 75,000 active wells produce millions of barrels of oil. A natural resource of ours is helium gas, so very valuable in raising dirigibles. As for our great schools and universities, I'd say the best known is Texas A&M. And the PM, <laughs> that's for night school. Y'all know about our famous stadium, the Cotton Bowl. The greatest football teams play herein. Let's watch one of the teams working out in the field. Randolph Field is the foremost training school for Air Force pilots. The most thrilling spectacle is seeing the cadets drilling. To the rear, march! To the rear, march!
looky here. When we say Texas, that means rodeo. With such thrilling goings on as bronc busting. Seven. I'm busted. Bulldozing. Steer rest. Trick riding. Yippee! Yahoo! Yippee! Look at here, partners. As long as we're deep in the heart of Texas, let's sing that little old song by the same name. Just follow the bouncing ball. The stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas, the prairie sky is wide and high. Deep in the heart of Texas, the sage in blue is like perfume. Deep in the heart of Texas, reminds me of the one I love. Deep in the heart of Texas, Yes, sir, I think you coyotes are doing right well. But let me hear you howl and sing and yell. The stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas, the prairie sky is wide and high. Deep in the heart of Texas, the sage in bloom is like perfume. Deep in the heart of Texas Reminds me of 